you know, I think it's important for me to engage you guys as I'm working to develop a city that will recruit and retain the best and brightest young minds. So I think it's important that I reach out to y'all and see what y'all want the city of Augusta to look like. Well, that's a complex issue. I think charter schools can be a good thing. You're talking about the way the legislation has come down and sort of puts the charter school, you know, the funding coming from the Bureau of Education and everything. I think that could have been handled a little bit more diplomatically. And it gets into an issue of privatization of government. I think, and I was having a conversation with somebody about this the other day about local government. I'm not for privatizing anything. I think government has a role to deliver services. I think education is a big part of that. But I think that we should look at everything on a case-by-case -case situation. But I will tell you, that's the frustrating thing to me about politics, is particularly these days, there's no compromise. You know, and I'll just tell you what, what I think is happening, I'm independent, I'm not a member of the political party, is through the redistricting process, both Democrats and Republicans have redistricted safe districts. Meaning you've got to run to the extreme of your party to get elected in your district. So that doesn't leave a lot of room for compromise. Because if you're somebody that I believe in being safe and trying to work with everybody to build consensus, but on either side, if you're working with the other side, oftentimes you're going to be targeted to get run out of office. And that, to me, is just not a very healthy situation. Yes? How many half Ironman have you done, and what's your best time? I, <laughs> I've done two. This year will be three, but I did it in six nineteen last year, which was cut thirty seven minutes off my time prior. Yes, sir. As mayor, what is your goal for Augusta? To be the most thriving mid sized city in the United States. Economically, I think we should strive for excellence at all levels: excellence in education, excellence in government. Excellent in business recruitment. I told people that I've been very involved in recruiting businesses to Augusta, and it's always going to be quality over quantity. Um, I don't know what I'll be next. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll still be with the land trust if I have been like the mayor. But one of the things I want to do is I want to write. I grew up wanting to be a writer. I want to write all this down and really record my time as mayor. I want to teach. I think that's one of the best things that you can do is sort of share the experiences that you've had and um, try to once again foster new leadership. So, but I, I have no clue. I, I didn't grow up expecting to be mayor. Um, all the best things that have happened to me have been sort of unplanned, and that's, I'm just keeping it open mind. Historically, we're not unusual. Everybody, you know, well, I want my own little piece of the pie, I want to have my own nonprofit. But we've got to realize, you know, we're to a point where I tell people, and it's, I get, y'all may not hear it as much as I did, but the old, you know, South Augusta versus West Augusta versus East Augusta, or I want my nonprofit, no, my nonprofit. I'm like, we got to move beyond that mindset that us and them and playing one organization off the other or, you know, one side of town off the other. There, there is no us and them, it's all us. And the faster we get that and learn how to work together better, whether it's at the nonprofit level or just the community wide level as a whole, the better off we're going to be in the long run. All right, thank you all so much.